Hi, dear students, you are welcome in this video. Dear students, as you know, we have started a series on history of English literature. And this is a next video in the same series. Today, we are going to discuss about 18th century as we are already started to discuss 18th century. And we are covering the poets and authors, major authors in the period. And now we have a new author for our discussion. Today, we are going to discuss about Robert Burns. We'll talk about uh, the life of Robert Burns, his career, major poems and his place in the history of English literature and what are the qualities of Robert Burns' poetry. So let's start. Here, hash 37, history of English literature, 18th century literature, Robert Burns, 1759-1796, the lifespan of Robert Burns. Very first, let's understand his life uh, what is important regarding his life? If you look at Robert Burns, he was a sheer farmer who worked on his farm and he composed so many beautiful poems and became one of the greatest poets uh, in his uh, days. So here he was born in Alloway, Scotland in 1759 and he was very popularly known as Rabbi Burns, National Bard and Bard of Ayrshire and also Ploman Poet. Now, why Ploman poet? Because he worked directly on the fields and he understood the very nature from close and hence uh, by his profession, he was a Ploman and hence he is called as Ploman poet and he composed so many fine poems. Here we have uh, his life in a few statements. Very first, a poor, honest, God-fearing man who toiled from dawn till dark to rest a living for his family from the stubborn soil and Caldis described him as a life of fragments. Now if you look at the life of uh, Robert Burns you will understand he was a poor but honest man. He worked right from the dawn till the dark or till the end of the day and he worked to provide the living to his family. He was a very considerate person. He was a very honest and sincere person in his work. And the same feelings, same kind of things appeared in his poetry. Or you see, it is reflected his life in his poetry. So we have most of the poems describing the life of people who are around Robert Burns and his own life too. But his life is described by S.T. Coleridge as the fragments, divided into fragments. So we do not have a full picture or a very glorious life of Robert Burns, but it is the life of a poor person. It is the life of a plowman. It is the life of a person who is working on the farm and who uh, has toiled a lot uh, to gain the living of his family. So this is the background of uh, Robert Burns who belongs to a poor family background and not a glorious background as many other English poets belonged. Next, he was regarded as the pioneer of romantic movement and uh, if you look at the poetry of Robert Burns, it reflects the romantic elements in the poetry. We have a very famous poem called A Red Red Rose. I will come to this poem and explain to you some stanzas of the same poem. And he's established a trend in English literature or in English poetry uh, particularly. And he is considered as the pioneer of romantic movement. In the coming videos, we are going to cover the romantic age. And in romantic age, we will discuss the elements of romanticism or what are the qualities of romantic poetry. And uh, for that, we have Robert Burns' poetry, which includes the qualities of the uh, romantic movement. And hence, we can say that he is considered as the pioneer of romantic poetry or romantic movement in English literature. Next, he uh, has a great influence on Scottish people and literature for a longer time. Now, he particularly belonged to Scotland and Scottish people have influence of Robert Burns on them and on literature in the Scotland and in England too. In 2009, he was chosen as the greatest Scot by Scottish public and a survey is made by STV. STV is a channel there in Scotland and in 2009 they made a survey and in that survey they took opinions of people or the Scottish public uh, who is the greatest Scot, uh, Scot and people found that this person, this poet Robert Burns was the greatest Scot chosen by Scottish public and 
from uh, that we can understand the very place in the life of scottish people in the entire uh, life of the country of scotland so he is a great person and chosen as the greatest scot by a scottish public next he was died very miserably in 1796 aged only 37 so he was died early or we can say that uh, he was died in young days he completed just 37 years of his life and he was died miserably as we noted his life was a miserable life he was a poor person and he hailed as the greatest scot that is the achievement in the life of uh, we can say that this person or this poet called robert burns or rabbi burns so this rabbi became very famous among the people due to his poetry or through his poetry and let's understand his major poems are the collections of his poetry or what are there in the bag of robert burns collection uh, before that let me show you robert burns uh, birthplace uh, here we have alloway here is the cottage you can see the cottage in alloway where robert burns uh, born and uh, this cottage now held as the national heritage and this is a heritage site still you if you go to scotland and you go to alloway you will find that in scotland this place is preserved as a national heritage this is the cottage fear robert burns born now here uh, we have his poetry first poems chiefly in the scottish dialect published in 1786 the quarters saturday night 1786 to a mouse 1785 to a mountain daisy 1786 man was made to mourn it is a dirge published in 1784 the toy dogs 1786 address to the dale 1786 halloween 1786 and most of the poems published in kilmarnock volume now this kilmarnock volume is very important in which we find uh, most of the poems were published uh, the collection of poems is published now what is this kilmarnock kilmarnock is a place near to alloway and robert burns used to go there kilmarnock and publish there in that uh, town and hence these collections are called or this poetry is called as Kil kilmarnock volume and first it is appeared in kilmarnock volume now dear students there is a very famous poem composed by robert burns and still this poem is recited by many young lovers many young people and it is also prescribed for syllabus in various institutions so what is that poem that poem is a red red rose here a red red rose published in 1795 and here we have two stanzas of the same poem oh my love is like a red red rose that's newly sprung in june oh my love is like the melody that's sweetly played in tune second stanza so fair art thou my bonnie lass so deep in love am i and i will love thee still my dear till the sea seas gain dry now he is comparing his love to a red rose and again he also is comparing uh, his everlasting love to a sea and he is just assuring to his lover that he will love her till the sea or ocean gets dry or gone dry means just he is explaining the emotion of love and its timelessness if you look at the shakespeare sonnet you also find the same kind of feelings expressed by shakespeare and here also we have the same kind of timelessness in his love and he is expressing the love and he is comparing his love to a different things in the nature like red red rose and he is just pointing out how his love is everlasting so this is the quality of uh, robert burns poetry we can understand these qualities through his single poem called a red red rose now let's understand what are the qualities included in the poetry of robert burns here you see love is a very prominent quality or prominent theme in his poetry next we have humor you also find the pathos in his poetry if you look at some of the poems all these poems expresses the human tendency expresses the human conditions as he lived in miserable condition we have pathos in his poetry which considered his life and 
Most of the poems expresses his own life in which we find pathos. Next, we have response to nature. He was a very ardent poet and he responded to nature and he uh, looked at nature from very close and he understood this nature very close and the same is reflected in his poetry. His poems are heart touching and hence all these poems have a high place in the history of English literature. So this is what uh, Robert Burns have to offer in his poetry. His poetry is universal. You find many things which are related not only in his country, but he expresses nature universally and he expresses love, pathos, this kind of qualities in his poetry. It is a curious fact that the world is always laughing and crying at the same moment and we can hardly read a page of Burns without finding this natural juxtaposition of smiles and tears. And Burns, more than any other writer, has an astonishing faculty of describing his own emotions with vividness and simplicity so that they appeal instantly to our own. Now, if you read this statement, you will understand the place of Robert Burns in the whole history of English literature. Here, a very important thing is expressed that his poetry expresses joy and sorrow at the same time. Now, if you are reading a poem, you find joy as well as sorrow included in that poem. Let's take an example of a red, red rose. In red, red rose, you find both the feelings, you find both the emotions, you find happiness and joy. You also find uh, the, uh, we can say that the sad mood of poet and also the sorrow expressed by poet. So these kind of things we have in the poetry of Robert Burns and hence Robert Burns becomes a very famous poet in English literature. So dear students, this is all about Robert Burns and his poetry. If you have any problem, any query, you can directly ask to me. I will answer to your uh, queries and uh, watch our videos on literature simply. So thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.